my name is Sarah Jensen, and I live in Rexburg, Idaho, in the United States. I'll be starting my senior year in my bachelor's program at Brigham Young University, Idaho, which is here in Rexburg. I want to be a high school uh, a high school English teacher, but for now, I'm majoring in English education with a minor in theater and speech education. I love teaching, and I recently finished a practicum where I taught in, in a seventh grade class at the local junior high. I've also taught ages 7 through 18 in my church congregation, and I have seven nieces and nephews that I love spending time with. But that's enough about me. I'm going to tell you a story that is very popular here in the United States, and it's called The Three Little Pigs. So once upon a time, there were three little pigs, and it came time for them to leave their home and seek their fortunes. But before they left, their mother told them, <coughs> Whatever you do, do it the best that you can, because that's the way to get along in the world. And off they went. The first little pig built his house out of straw, because it was the easiest thing to do. The second little pig built his house out of sticks. This was a little bit stronger than a straw house. And the third little pig built his house out of bricks. And one night, a big, bad wolf, who dearly loved to eat fat little piggies, came along and saw the first pig in his house of straw. He said, let me in, let me in, little pig, or I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. Not by the hairs of my chinny chin chin, said the little pig. But of course, the wolf did blow the house in and ate the first little pig. The wolf then came to the house of sticks. Let me in, let me in, little pig, or I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin, said the little pig. But the wolf blew that house in too and ate the second little pig. The wolf then came to the house of bricks. Let me in, let me in, cried the wolf, or I'll huff and I'll puff till I blow your house in. Not by the hair on my chinny chin chin, said the pig. Well, the wolf huffed and puffed, but he could not blow down that brick house. But the wolf was a sly old wolf, and he climbed up on the roof to look for a way into the brick house. The little pig saw the wolf climbing up on the roof and lit a roaring fire in the fireplace and placed on it a large kettle of water. When the wolf finally found the hole in the chimney, he crawled down and splash right into the kettle of water. That was the end. And that was the end of his troubles. And that was the end of their troubles with the big bad wolf. The next day, the little pig invited his mother over. She said, You see, it is just as I told you. The way to get along in the world is to do things as well as you can. Fortunately for that little pig, he had learned that lesson. And he just lived happily ever after. Thank you so much.